Hi, everybody. Welcome to Consciously Awakening podcast series, episode eight. Today we have again Felicia Noel, and today we are speaking about beautiful things like the higher self and vibrational alignment. This is what we thought. And yes, I believe it's very important to stay connected to your emotional field. It's very important to stay connected to your true being, to your true self. Now, Felicia, how, how are you? I'm good. How about you? <laughs> I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get as much as possible into vibrational alignment and not fall into low vibrational thoughts. But I'm also realizing that there is also a purpose for lower vibrational thoughts and feelings. We also must learn how to accept and dance with these feelings as well. So, um, yeah, today we're speaking about vibrational alignment and the higher self. These, these topics for me are, are, are important in the way that they are actually our essence. Stay connected to your higher self means to stay connected to your true being, to your true authentic self. And today we, you, you are going to teach us how to do this. And I believe that we are staying connected to our higher self through vibrational alignment and through the heart center. And tell me, what is the higher self for you? And what is it actually? Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's uh, the feeling I am, pure essence of being, just okay. being pre present with everything that it is presenting itself. Mm -hmm. in this in this moment okay so the higher self is pure presence pure consciousness yeah it's our is essence it... like like you said like the heart to me is the essence of our being because that is the seed of life we we the human genome um, is the embodiment of all life forms in existence mm -hmm. meaning all the meaning when, when it takes form here, it brings all the blueprints, all the okay. templates. It's Interesting. It's, yes. Interesting. So we have inside of our own self, we have everything that is. And I believe that every other being also has this in, uh, in their DNA, right? Every other animal maybe, or every other plant, every other um, object, even, even objects. Maybe, maybe connected to that higher source, maybe connected to that universal intelligence, right? Yeah, like uh, they are all aspects of our being, including plants and animals. All life forms here are aspects of our being. Mm -hmm. Not, mm -hmm. not, all, not all the life forms here, but all life forms in the universe. In other words, we manifest simultaneously in multiple universes uh, at any given moment which mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. the bigger, the bigger picture, Interesting, the, totality, I, the totality that we are. <laughs> yeah, I realized that we, we have to become aware of these things in order for them to manifest. Like you have to become aware that you have a, a, a higher conscious self in order hold, for this, in order for this self to manifest itself. You know? Can you hold on, can you hold on one second? One sure, second. sure. No problem. No problem. Yeah, the higher self, the higher self, we're speaking about the higher self, which is something that I'm, I'm getting to connect more and more to each day. And I'm realizing that it's part of my emotional field. Now I'm speaking to you guys, I'm not speaking to Felicia. And uh, the story is the fact that I have been even hurt by my, my higher self. I'm not even sure if it, was, if it was my higher self or my ego. And then I got to actually question it. Now I'm speaking, uh, I'm speaking to people about my higher self story. I had a story about the higher self. And I said that I was even hurt by some thoughts and feelings. And now I'm questioning if it was my higher self or not. But do you think the, the higher self would, would intervene with our free will? Okay, so let's... let's uh, uh... Let's touch on the basis of what humans call negative feelings or lower vibrations. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I think once, once 
properly understood, um, you can open open to it and not reject it or push it away or try to get rid of it. Okay. Uh, there be a, like a full acceptance once totally understood what it really means. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So what usually human calls um, negative thoughts or lower frequency is they offer thoughts in opposition of what they want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it For means example, that there is a flow. There is a flow of consciousness always present, but when we resist the flow, we are feeling bad. We don't resist. We always go with the flow, and then. Um, but you have to notice where your focus is because the focus is showing you the directions of your thoughts. So, oh. for example. For example, a practical example, what happens on the outside, and then you could use the metaphor in order to understand the movement of consciousness inside. Let's say you get out of the door and you know that you have to turn north in order to go see your friend. Uh Uh But you're turning south in the opposite direction. Yes. And your friend is not there. And there is no way that you're going to reach your friend's house. Uh Uh And human beings call that turning of focus of direction negative or low vibration. Okay. But it's not. Uh, It's not. (laughs) So you, maybe we are experiencing this because we are constantly focusing on something. But when. We are experiencing, yeah, we're experiencing it because here. In this dimension, something very interesting is happening, which it doesn't, it doesn't happen in other, in other realms. It's a very interesting uh, perspective, the way we perceive, because we perceive simultaneously that which we want and that's what, and the opposite of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah. Simultaneously, it happens simultaneously. And people try to focus on one and get rid of the other, but they happen simultaneously. There is no way that you will ever get rid because it's the absence of something as an illusion. Yeah? yeah. Because when, when you get out your door, the door, your friend and north still exist and south down south, right? Uh-huh. They don't uh-huh. disappear and you yeah. cannot get rid of the south and you cannot get rid of... of of your friend, but you have to notice the point of your focus, the direction of your focus, because simultaneously your friend and North exist, and then how you create this illusion of the absence of your friend. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's it's about um, getting to know what you want and not create contrast with that. Not but create you contrast. Do create- you do create contrast simultaneously because that gives you the expansion. Oh, so there are always two sides. There are always two sides. You either go for what you always. want or you go in the opposite, opposite direction and get it. You get it. They, yeah, because get it. They, they exist simultaneously. And that's what it means uh, living in simultaneity of being. That, that all these two perspectives, because their point of view, their perspectives, yeah? Yeah. The, the presence of my, my friend and the illusion of that his absence, because he's not absent. You're just offering, offering your heading in the opposite direction. Yeah. And so, so when you offer thoughts, let's say you have a desire. Yeah, your desire is always pure. There is a frequency. When you desire something, you birth it in your being. There is a certain feeling that you have. It's yeah, a signature yeah. fre- frequency. Yeah, yes? Yeah. And then simultaneously, <clears throat> as soon as you birth it, uh, the, 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 but also the perceiving how you create the illusion of absence. It happens simultaneously when mm-hmm. you offer, when you're offering thoughts in opposition. Okay. Okay. And I then see. you create that, you say that it's negative or it's, it's lower vibration, but it's not. It's just showing you the directions of your thoughts. Okay, so 
maybe when you are feeling so-called lower vibration, it is because you are called to move into the higher vibration or into the better feeling. No, you're just offering thoughts. You have to stop and notice that you're actually offering thoughts in that moment in opposition of what you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you okay. notice this, if you notice this, it's an incredible, it's a way of perceiving. It's not wrong. It's just, it's just a way of perceiving here because mm. there isn't such a thing as reality is how you perceive it in a moment. It's your reality. Yeah. 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 Yes. It's, it's all perceptional. Absolutely. Because why perceiving means we translate, we translate vibration with the five senses, with our intuition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We actually translate. There isn't such a thing as physical reality. We translate. You could say you translate a state of being, actually. Yeah, yeah. And another question would be, how do we channel the higher self? How do we stay connected to the higher self? Well, you cannot, you're, you are it. You, yeah, you're always tapped into it and then when you offer thoughts in opposition of what you want you create this illusion of this connection that's how okay. you create it that's how the illusion i am being disconnected comes about it's like when you get when you get out of the door and you head south now you could show yourself how you create this illusion of separation from your friend mm. I You're see. the one. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. But um, how do we get back from um, north to south? Let's say the friend is in south and we headed by mistake north. How do we get back to south? By understanding when, it, when you're at this crossroad, when you simultaneously both perspectives shows up. Well, mm -hmm. by noticing when you notice this it's called self-awareness or being present mm -hmm. as soon as, and you do notice you do notice maybe you might take a detour in life yes yeah. going go on to going toward the absence of something so if you find yourself in a detour that means there are gemstones for for yourself there too for example, let's say you want to go to Bucharest, our capital. Yeah. And, and you get your car in your car. And from your place where you live to Bucharest, there are many, many intersections. Mm -hmm, you, come, mm -hmm. you come to a crossroad. You come to a point where there are many perspectives, meaning there are many signs. One that points you to Bucharest and many signs in the, inter, in the intersection pointing in opposite directions or uh, yeah in the directions yeah, but yeah you don't get out of your car and you take all the signs out or you pay for <laughs> all the signs to book arrest <laughs> yeah you don't do that because the other signs mm -hmm. helps you sharpen your focus mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. That is also the purpose of when you're offering thoughts in opposition. It's not wrong. It's not negative. It sharpens your focus, just like I the see. sign. I see. I see. Can, can a thought in opposition become the vibrational aligned state? It's always in a line because it's showing you, it's showing you, it's, it's, it is, it's, it's pointing you back to your focus. So, mm -hmm. Even that one is serving you. Yeah, yes? yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, everything and, serves understand. us in everything serves us in consciousness. Everything. 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 So there is no wrong path. There is no wrong uh, thought. There is no wrong circumstance. Everything is happening for us. Do you believe in uh, destiny? Yeah, uh, absolutely. We create our own destiny. We meaning we create our own reality. Do you think? Uh, do you think some things are meant to happen, or things are happening by free will? Uh, they are. Um, 
they're meant to happen if you stay focused to that pure frequency. You mm -hmm. make it happen that way because okay. there is a there is a core frequency. Yes. Any desire that you have, you can recognize it. There is a feeling that comes with it, or maybe thoughts. Yeah. That's how you translate, you birth that desire, and then you translate that to yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So you yeah. could call that, that is the destiny of that desire. That is called, um, it's unconditional. You have not yet tied it up with circumstances outside yeah. of yeah, but, the, but in a way we have free will right well that's the free will the free will is right there is to choose to see to see yeah the yeah. The, the pure signature frequency of that desire while simultaneously you notice you notice that thoughts in opposition are also arising with that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I get it. So I that, get it. You see what I mean? That's what yeah. people call free will because you are free to notice or not. Yeah. It's up to you. Some people never notice that. They just keep going, uh, keep referring themselves, um, taking that pure or I, I do too, you do too. Why? Because they happen simultaneously. But the point is that I notice very quickly if I'm offering thoughts in opposition, okay. that, I am, that I am in the illusion, in the mental realm, in the realm of projections, yeah? I yeah. project something. It's not real. Yeah. Because lack, does, lack does not exist in, in existence. It doesn't exist. Yeah. It maybe happened. maybe even uh even negative feelings don't even exist maybe it's all love maybe we, we yeah, all create the illusion are, yes the illusion that there is exists yeah the way you experience it because um, when 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 you filter something you take this purity of your desire yeah there's that core frequency and then you could see how simultaneously we filter through when is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? Why did it happen? It's never going to happen. Maybe it will happen. Do I have free will? Do I not? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we have to notice that these thoughts that we are offering, you're not speaking about your desire. You're speaking about the absence of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's very subtle, very subtle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I truly believe that um, humanity right now, at this point in, the, in, in evolution, as a collective consciousness, is sitting at this threshold inside in order to notice how do we create the illusion of lack. Yeah. Because a lot of people think that they are speaking about their desire, but they don't notice they're actually speaking of the absence of it. And the universe says yes to everything. So it says, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is, because it follows your focus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, true, true. What we project will be projected back into us. Yes. So yeah. But projections are mental realm. You are always, always, you're not in the now. You have to notice. You're not with your desire. That's what it means. You're not in the now. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're not. You're with the, you're not. Your focus is not. The desire is there. Your inner being, your awareness, it's saying you're not with your desire. So you are aware that your focus is not on your desire it's yeah not. yeah yeah but uh can we even let go of the desire and just be i mean can we be in a vibrational no. alliance there without desire you are because you birthed it and you can never let go of your desire you birthed it you just mm -hmm. have to notice you just have to notice if you're going 
toward your desire or not in your being, not in your circumstances. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. not, not, you're never ever going to notice the direction, the movement within your being. If you look at your circumstances for guidance, you won't because it's a mirror of your belief system. And in the mirror, you can never find guidance. You have to come back into this present moment, into the, into the core frequency of your desire and notice that simultaneously, you also create the opposite. It happens yeah. simultaneously. You cannot help it. So it's about knowing what you want and it's about birthing what you want and it's about staying connected to what you want. And you are connected. Yeah, you are connected. For example, let's say if I sit in my garden, yeah? Yeah. There is my real garden where you could say as a metaphor, it's my desire, it's real. Yes? Yeah. And then, then you can look in one of the windows of your home and you could see the reflection of your garden. Yeah. And they happen simultaneously. The, the real garden and the reflection in the window. Yeah, yeah. And you can never get rid of the reflection of your window because it's just showing you that is not your real garden. It's 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 guidance. Okay. We, we so, have this per clear clarity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it uh, I'm not sure I got if I got this right, but uh, each time that we are projecting something, we must stay connected to that desired thing, right? Uh, it's a very subtle and very profound discovery when you understand they happen simultaneously because that way you don't try to get connected to your desire and disconnected from the image in the window because you can't. Mm -hmm. you see what i mean so what but, does what does the image of yourself in the window stand for uh the the image in the window for yourself stands from how you take who you truly are and now you filter that through belief systems that you have okay about yourself okay and you end and you end up in a in a in a persona, in a character, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And that's fine, it's just showing you, it's just showing you that that is an aspect of your being. Yeah. If he, yeah, and it's showing yeah. you, it's showing you a mirror, it's only showing you the belief systems that you have created, all your projections. So in a way, we are beyond what we are projecting. We are beyond, we are beyond our thoughts and beliefs and everything. But how yeah, do we get? Living. How do we get to that state? How do we uh, let go of the projections and of the beliefs in order to stay connected mm -hmm. to the aligned state? You don't. You can. You have to let it be. All yeah. You can't oh. get rid of. You can get rid of the image of your garden in a window. That means you got to cover all your windows, yeah? yeah? Yeah. But the projection in the in the window is there in order to signal you that your focus is not on your garden, it's on on the on the window. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> I see. I see. It's pointing. So it's actually showing you the direction of your focus. And that is the that is the purpose of the holographic universe. It's the only purpose, the only purpose ever of the holographic universe. Yeah. Yeah. Is to showing is to show you the yeah. projections that you have created. Not to take care of them, not to change them, not to get rid of them. Yeah. What does holographic stand for? What, what does holographic mean? Holographic means a projection, yes? Okay, okay. So you project, you project rather than be, uh, because simul not rather, they both hope happen simultaneously. Your pure yeah. desire and your projections 
happen simultaneously. And then the discernment you, that you have in a moment, in that moment that they happen simultaneously means being awake or being present. So, so you could show yourself, where is really your focus? Where is it? Yeah, yeah. What, what am I focusing on? And uh, the direction. Is, is let me know. Now what you're focusing on, the direction of your focus. Mm -hmm. very yeah. subtle very subtle yeah so it's about constantly uh, resetting this and constantly becoming aware of our projections and constantly getting to acknowledge what is good for us and what is not necessarily good or bad but what is in tune with uh, what we desire and what is uh, not in tune with what we desire so it's about constantly reframing and it's const about constantly coming back to that aligned state of our pure desire. Interesting. And you do it, you do it from your inner being. Every, you start every 16 seconds and a half and it aligns you. And then it gives you a signal by these two perspectives in simultaneity. By 17 seconds, you get very clear in yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It get very clear in yourself where your focus is. We align actually many hundreds of times per day from within. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Because we constantly reset. Constantly to zero point, clean state, clean slate, where that's where you birth your desire from that purity of being. Yeah. And you birth yeah. something that you want and you merge with it. You're one with it. You are birthing it. It's like you're pregnant with it. Yeah. 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 That's what creation means. Interesting. Interesting. There are so many concepts about this and there are so many uh, tools for becoming aware. There are so many tools for becoming aware, but it's, it's sad that we live in a world where we are constantly being programmed and we are constantly failing to notice our thoughts. We think that we are the projector when in fact we are not the projector, we are the observer of the, of the projector. And we, we fail to notice the fact that we are constantly living in the mind and we are constantly not become aware of our thought processes. So I believe that the purpose of vibrational alignment is to actually reset yourself and for you to actually become aware of your thoughts, become aware of your projections and getting to actually shift them record uh, based on what you truly desire. You know? You cannot... So you this cannot, is also, yeah, this is cannot, also alchemy. Yeah. You cannot shift the mirror just like you cannot shift the, the projection of your garden in, in, in the window. You can't. It's futile. Yeah. You see what I mean? That's why yeah. people are busy. They, they, most of their attention is what is going on in the world and how they're being programmed. Mm -hmm. Meaning, meaning they are, their focus is in the projection of the collective consciousness on their belief system. They might not even be your belief system. Yeah, true. They might, true, they might got true. nothing to do with you. For example, uh, I know, I know when I'm sick or not. I think everybody does. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And so if somebody has to tell you you're sick or not, <laughs> that means that means only one thing, yeah? It, it means that the direction of your focus is in a projection, is in the window of your garden, is not in your garden, yeah? yeah? And that is not real. It's not real, it's not even a real timeline. Very, humanity right now is very busy with a timeline that is only happening in the mirror of their own belief system. It's not even happening in reality. No. Yeah. Interesting. It's not a Interesting. Real, that is not a real timeline, folks. It's not. It's not. What do you mean it's not a real timeline? You mean what is happening now is not a real timeline? 
whatever is happening outside, when, you, when we look outside and we observe others, humanity, where their, where their focus is, what they're talking about, yeah? yeah, what's on TV, what is on social media, that yeah. is a projection. It's a projection. It's a timeline in a mirror. Okay. You see. A timeline in a mirror. That's why you cannot solve it. It's not real. Mm. You're never going to have a solution because why? It's, it's in a mirror. You don't need a solution. You just notice it's in a mirror. <laughs> mm. So we are That's constantly... why people cannot, they will never find a solution for thousands of years because there is no solution. If you go to your mirror, can you find a solution? <laughs> I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Interesting. No Interesting. So how do we fix what is happening? Or we can fix what is happening external ourselves, ourselves without changing our inner thoughts? Uh, you can never change a timeline. You shift. You shift. For example, somebody says, I got cure of cancer or I quit smoking. Yes? Yeah, yeah. And, and they think that in that timeline where they, they have cancer, they fix it. They fix themselves. But they didn't. They keep aligning through laughing, through eating well, through, like I said, every 16 seconds and a half, you align to well-being. And they keep shifting themselves from all the timelines in the mirror that don't exist to the real timeline. Okay. And they say, I cured myself. And, but it's like the one that says I cured myself, they never had cancer, ever. Ever. Nobody ever heals anything. Okay. They keep maybe using tools, tools to keep aligning yeah maybe they can't just go straight to core frequency or they don't notice they align every 16 and a half half seconds so then they use maybe spiritual practice or they use herbs or they use medicine or they use whatever but those are just tools so you could help yourself to tap into your core frequency because you don't notice every 16 seconds and a half, you do that anyhow, naturally. So then you could use meditation, you can use chanting, you could use whatever. But as long as you understand their tools for you to tap into the timeline that you prefer, yeah, that exists. And most people get very, very lost with their practice. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, people are easy. people are living the myth of self development, and they are constantly oh, gosh. they are constantly trying to go in a different place rather than where, rather than where they are, and this is where you lose everything. You, you lose are, everything, Sebastian. You know that you lose everything because when you get out of the door, you want to know if you're heading north or south. Yeah. You don't want to pretend and sit there and practice. How do I get better at this? Yeah, because you're yep. not with you. You're not with your awareness. Yeah, you have to notice that. Yeah, okay? yeah, true. For, for example, let's say you ran out of gas half away to your friend's house and you call me, you call me and you say, Felicia, I'm going to give you exactly, exactly the location that I'm at so I can come pick you up. Yeah. Yeah, half away yeah. there, quarter away there. Yeah. But most people say, oh, let me go get home first. How do I get home first? How do I get to my inner being? And then I come look for you and you're looking for your inner being. You're looking, you're going back home or something. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. You got it what I'm saying the accuracy to be where you where you're at so you can notice so you yeah because you can always be where you're at you cannot be somewhere else <laughs> yeah yeah it's interesting it's, it's it's interesting how the mind uh constantly projects 
and how we are constantly trying to to reach somewhere else rather than where we are. It's interesting. When you, because you have inner guidance, it'll tell you your state of being. It will immediately, instantly show you your focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the desire is rolling out. It's living its life to the fullest, full, fullness of it. It yeah. always is. It yeah. always is. That's why it percolates and it bubbles up. No matter why, how you try to mess it up, it just bubbles up again, right? True. So, so now your inner being or what you call it your higher self or inner being inner being yeah is showing you every single moment where your focus really is and how you create that illusion of absence of something interesting uh, interesting another thing you could see you could say is for example, if you are in, let's say you're in your kitchen and you're cooking, you could also say you're experiencing the absence of your bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could also say that, but you know the bedroom is there, but your focus is in the kitchen and, and you don't call the fact that you're not in the bedroom negative, you just know. Yeah, it's an, illu it's an illusion. But it's illusion. still there. It's still there. <laughs> it's still there. Yeah. 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 The fact that your bedroom doesn't exist is an illusion. Why? Because your focus, you're focusing on direction on, on the, your kitchen. So everything exists at all times. Everything exists at all times. The more that you open your perception, the more that you can widen your perception is the more that you increase your energy and is the more that you become, uh, in a way, more open to all possibilities and even more open to free will. Open to free will. Free will can be translated into the, uh, the way you perceive. There's many ways you perceive yourself, even through the day, yeah? Yeah. From morning to noon, you go through many states of being. So each way of perceiving yourself yeah it's a timeline in itself it really is and that means you're open because you do open that's what it means you're open to your possibilities yeah. in every timeline and every timeline is showing you where your focus is yeah true 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 even the way you perceive circumstances, depending on the state of being that you are, sometimes it doesn't, you don't give a hood, right? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, literally, yeah. you could care less. And it's the same circumstances that make in the morning bother you to no end. But you have to notice the only, they don't bother you, they're just showing you, you're at that moment, you're offering thoughts in a position, you're heading south, in your consciousness, you're heading. As a matter of fact, you're not even with your circumstances at that moment, you're not. You see what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. somebody so, that's real in touch with their circumstances, they know, they know. You know too. Yeah, of course, if I'm, if I'm connected with myself, I know, but if I'm feeling disconnected, my job is to reconnect myself again and to head north to my friend. Okay, so not to try to connect, to just notice. To because just notice. Always, yeah. Otherwise, we imply that we're connected and then we're not. We connect. Oh, we okay. Connect, okay. Yeah, we're connected and then we create the illusion that we're not. It'd be yeah. more accurate. So it's yeah? not about trying and forcing to connect, it's about realizing that you are always connected. It's about realizing that you can always shift, you can always. Uh, go back north you can always do that but yeah. it's about becoming aware of of how many possibilities you have and it's about widening your perception it's about yeah. this and this is also how you increase your free will by widening the perception by opening your heart by uh giving yourself the freedom necessary by not worrying so much by not being attached so much this is how to do it what is worrying? It's 
offering thoughts in opposition of what you want and you knew the universe saying and so it is and so it is and so it is that's what the definition of worrying is <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah so, true. it's true. so simple true that's what worry really is i'm offering thoughts in opposition of what i want and the universe says and so it is and so it is and so it is because <laughs> it always the- says yes to your focus yeah. The universe always says yes. Yeah, if you're heading south, it doesn't take all your life force away from you. Your life force follows your focus. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not like the universe <laughs> is gonna force you to go back north. No, it's not gonna, it's not gonna force you. It's not gonna force yeah. you. And if, if you're if you're heading south, um and you realize I'll never get to my friend, maybe you you're meant to meet a new friend. Yeah, there you go. Why not? At least ease yourself from the uh, from the illusion of lack. That's not the only friend in life, you know. That you have. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> true you see, true, just true. to just to offer a thought that can ease yourself and move yourself in another timeline. Yeah, that's easier on you. Okay, I'll meet a new friend. As soon as you voice that that thought to yourself means you have shifted yourself in a different timeline altogether, True. in a different universe altogether. Maybe it's the same friend, but he teleported into South. Maybe you run into him that way. Because, yeah, maybe. Right? Maybe you, you well, met him by, by you thinking you had the wrong direction, but instead he was already there. Yes, because when you are your intentions to go see your your new friend you're going there for a certain feeling a certain state of being yes yeah you already the intention in you you could feel it you could describe it i want to go to my friend to feel good to laugh to drink to to tell a story yeah to do something in this garden so it's a state of being that you feel yeah maybe you're heading south because that one is not a vibrational match to you at the time, <laughs> to, to your state of being. Yeah, true, 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 true. You need something yeah. else. You need something else. So you're going to yeah. head south. And open yourself. Open to understand. Head south because you're there to fulfill your state of being. Your friend is a tool. <laughs> For the true. circumstance. Yeah. True, yeah. So, in a way, you are constantly, let's say, if you want to go north and you are going south, in a way, you are still fulfilling the purpose, but in another way, in a different way. And this is actually amazing. You still, it's amazing. It's an amazing, the potential of that thing that, that what we call negative, because every perspective is of equal value. That is what is called balance of infinity. Yeah. Every yeah. single perspective is of equal value. And there is so much potential in heading south uh, because uh, it's, it's a known, it's a discovery because you're there to meet your state of being. You're really not there to meet your friend. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> true, true, true. So it's because about inner perception, inner perception and in how we choose to see stuff. It always is because why? Why in consciousness, the state of being is the blueprint of your reality, is the template. We actually create states of being. That's what we create. Yeah. 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 And in a way, uh, we got to learn how to embrace the inner state of being. We got to learn how to make the most out of the inner state of being. This is actually what people don't understand because they are constantly seeking outside. But we have forgotten to make the most out of what we have inside. Constantly looking in a window of your of your of your houses and uh, and constantly constantly in the saying where is my garden it's like yeah but they were <laughs> looking at the wrong mirror where is my garden you I know don't... nowadays nowadays with the situation around the world they say this is what's happening in the world it's like no it's not that's not real life that's a timeline in a mirror 
real true. life that's not what real life is it isn't true 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 <laughs> all right so i gotta go now i gotta go okay. now and i want you to thank you for the south example for the window example for the mirror example it was awesome guys this is how to be more connected to yourself to really widen your perception to really widen your mind and to really learn how to shift your focus or not necessarily shift your focus but to notice what your focus is to notice where you are focusing to notice what you want and actually getting to become the space for that thing to happen into your life Felicia, thank you for watching. Guys, if you want to be part of this podcast, if you have a vision to express, if you want to really uh, send the world a better message, feel free to send me a message and we will step right into shooting this podcast. So Felicia, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for expressing your vision about the higher self and vibrational alignment. And guys, like always, see you on what is coming up next i love you much peace and thank you for watching thank you for watching and thank you for being here with us on this magical ride because we have gone really deep with him today i really i loved it i love it and thank you and see you on what is coming up next ciao ciao thank you thank you thank you, thank you everybody thank you everybody